Here's a video tour of uh, Ultra Lightning. Uh, this is uh, basically a review of how it's currently programmed. And uh, this is the front nose wheel uh, retract sequence. And uh, that's down, the door opens, the wheel comes down, and then the doors close. And of course the nose wheel, uh, nose wheel steering takes place. And the nose wheel steering is in uh, link to the rudder. And so, okay, here's up. Door comes down. Wheel goes up. Door closes. Yeah. This is the main, this uh, the main sequence coming down. Door opens. The unit comes down, and then the doors close. And then go up. So up. The doors come down. The retracts go up. And the doors close. And going back to the retracts for a moment, I'll put them down. Uh, the, the brakes are proportional. You can see the brakes spin here. Now, I, the first stage of braking is on, but the wheels are very easy to move. If I give it a little more, they get pretty hard to move. If you take it all the way down to the bottom, it gets real hard to move. So they are proportional. And here again, we'll go back up. And this is a landing setting. And then this would be your, I mean, I'm sorry, takeoff setting. This would be your landing setting. Here we go, I'll put them up. A take off and landing. And if you'll note here that there's the programming is that when the flaps go down, the elevators go down. That's uh, takeoff setting and that's landing setting. And the ailerons uh, are fully functional. That's uh, the triple rates, that's low rate, medium, high. That's high, medium, low. I got it backwards, that's low, medium, high. Same for the elevator. That's elevator uh, down, low rate, medium, high. And a rudder also. That's low rate on rudder. High rate rudder. High, whoops, wait a minute. High, medium, low. Okay, looking looking at the plane from above, another another view. This would be your flap. That's a landing flap, full flap. I put them down a few more degrees because the uh, when the turbine, the uh, 180 turbine is on idle, it, you still get uh, some residual, pretty good amount of residual thrust. So this will let you come down at a steep angle and land without building up too much speed. And here again, when the flaps go down. The elevator goes down a little bit. So basically the programming is all done except for Crow. Uh, everything's fully functional. It all works great. Uh, plane is pretty much ready to go except for the turbine install. This is a shot of the uh, interior uh, receiver was one satellite up front uh, 
the satellite right here about where my hand is. Uh, there's another one underneath here um, about where my hand is. And there's another one back here on the bottom of the fuselage. So it's, none of them are where there's any carbon fiber. So uh, you're in pretty good shape that way. So that's the landing gear and that's the uh, doors and brakes. And then over on the other side are the two uh, the pressure indicators. You want to use about 90 pounds to start with or 100 is okay. This is the back and this is where the, the pump and the EC are going to go right here. This whole area. Okay, I'll give you an idea. It looks, looks really good. A little pile of guys sitting in there with the instrument panel and there's a I gave him a little stick, so uh, should be good to go. Like I say, last thing is turbine install, which will only take a couple of days, and then the final balance. And there's pretty much the whole plane.